Hope I am audible. Yes. Yes. I was today being from Department of Space, I would like to tell you all why is there such a rush from everywhere all over the world that we should go to space. Today you are seeing a lot of news, right? Today also there was a launch from India. There was a launch and nine satellites were launched. Why is it everybody trying to launch nowadays? Let's have a look at it. First of all, space, why it should be attractive? If you see that, it's very expensive and uh, it's not uh, easy. Billions of rupees you have to spend or billions of dollars you have to spend and go to space. And technically very complex. It's not that it's very comfortable once you go to space, either for the living beings or for the instrument. It is extremely difficult to survive because of the space environment of vacuum and extreme temperatures and what with all kinds of radiations. It is extremely difficult. Yet, why everybody is rushing to space? Let's have a look at it. First of all, the allure of space comes from the curiosity to explore, which is there in the mankind always. Why anybody wanted to go to Mount Everest, uh, you know, go up on that, or why one had to take various voyages and do that. And that is one thing. And secondly, there are also competitions in the uh, world between USSR, USA and all that. And most important thing is that uh, it came out that we can have a lot of advantages being there. Right? Let's have a look at all of them, how to improve life using the space itself. The quest of knowledge, I already told, we have gone beyond the solar system and uh, uh, seen what is there and uh, trying to put the uh, uh, telescopes in the sky and trying to see how it is outside the space, etc. It's been a wonderful experience. That is the quest for the knowledge. And what are the applications? Now, if you go to space, you can see better. What do you mean by see better? As you rise yourself high up, as you go up on a building or so, you can see that you can have a larger view, right? But our eyes can see lesser and less details. But we can make, you know, instruments which can see more, we can see better too. And also, our eyes can see a small portion of the light or the electromagnetic waves what we can perceive. Whereas, the cameras humans can make can see well beyond that. Imagine if you had a X-ray vision, you didn't have to have an X-ray machine at all. You could see directly what is happening inside the body, right? So that is a kind of capability you can build into the cameras. That became one very major advantage of using these systems in the space so that you can have observation, earth observation. Earth observation can be done in various ways, various applications, I'll let you know. So as you see that the applications are plenty, I don't have to read it out for you, you can have a look at it. So um, the agriculture, for example, the way uh, the crops can be estimated. And in fact, remote sensing is one area, whether it is agriculture or water or forest or mineralogy, hydrology, or uh, even mapping of the ice and uh, planning of the towns, etc. So many applications are there. And in that process, there is no uh, developmental department which is not using the remote sensing data. So it becomes an extremely important factor for the development of the society and development and uh, improvements in the societal living levels, right? So, and the second aspect of it is, uh, uh, you know, is the communication. So when you go on to the top. You have seen on the mountains a big towers are put, microwave towers are put. Why? So that you can have larger coverages and there will not be any obstructions, etc. So imagine you have a repeater in the sky. It can cover one third of the globe, literally. So 
there were of course uh, uh, sir arthur clark brought out in one of his uh, you know science uh, uh, fictions that by having uh, three such satellites the entire world could be connected that is a concept which is drawn from kepler's laws so once you see that a lot of communication which can happen all around the globe becomes extremely possible and it has been happening too let us see that applications if you see day to day life whether it is broadcasting or direct to home which everybody is using all kinds of applications whether it is business where you know uh, today the business all around the globe happens uh, within a fraction of a second so these kind of uh, connectivities which are provided and these services don't care whether you are in a remote area hilly area unapproachable area everywhere uniform service will be available a great advantage to connect people wherever they are and uh, you know any time they can whether you are traveling or you are somewhere uh, lost anywhere you can be connected through the communication and uh, these have been effectively used especially in india in terms of having uh, our own programs like village resource centers etc where we could have a, a broad uh, um, you know instructions and education which could be given to uh, the villagers and also uh, propagate the government policies uh, to make them understand connecting the panchayats etc today uh, as you know uh, our um, honorable prime minister has started digital india program where uh, um, every nook and corner every village has to be connected uh, part of that is uh, our own uh, satellite links which have connected thousands of uh, uh, these uh, villages today and that has been a very successful thing the third important aspect is uh, satellites to guide you to navigate and today we traveled from bangalore to davangere and uh, i had a link given google map and uh, we went through it how how is that coming is because exactly where i am where i have to go estimation is a huge ground based software based on the data provided by the positioning systems so india also has brought out its own navigation satellite fleet irnss indian regional navigation satellite system which was very aptly named as navic by um, honorable prime minister so uh, and we also have of course widely used gps and uh, why we brought out our own regional navigation satellite system is because this has become a very important aspect for every field including for strategic applications wherein we have to be self reliant that is how russia europe japan china everybody have brought their own navigation system and india too has a similar system with us and applications of navigation are day by day increasing including for many commercial applications when you are just walking by you can see advertisements relative advertisements can come depending on where you are so that you can go buy things too very important aspects like you know uh, rescuing and uh, uh, where exactly the help has to go when there is a disaster uh, and things like that so if you see that space applications have become ubiquitous in our life what is that part of life which is not affected for a good quality of life we should have food and water security and we should have environment which is good for us to live with good security from you know every nation can thrive with good security and all this health education everything so in terms of uh, you know satellite based education satellite based health took a great wings off in india with telemedicine and tele education where every remote uh, uh, villages they could easily get the access to the medical help and they could consult without having to travel to the cities etc and they could get the um, correct medical uh, advice from the people who are sitting at semi special or special hospitals so these kind of day uh, uh, to day lives have been uh, very successfully implemented in india elsewhere too and india has been very self reliant in bringing all these programs to uh, our uh, common man and which has become part and parcel of our life and today 
I have not updated this number. Today, nine more satellites have gone up. This is our wealth, and this is the legacy which all youngsters, all of you in India, have it. And we hope to see much more of it in the coming days. Thank you for your attention.